What's going on everyone? It's Brain with Koji Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. I am packing for a long weekend to one of my favorite places in the entire world, San Francisco. I'm getting away, gonna relax. I love San Francisco. I try to make it a point to go at least twice a year up there, so really excited. But I wanted to make a video. Uh, four days is just too long not to do anything. So I want to make a video on how I travel with my jewelry. Now when you pack, you make sure you got your socks, your underwear, your shirts, clothes, jackets, toothbrush, all that stuff. I treat my jewelry the same way because I like to wear it, but at the same time, I don't like to bring all of it. I only like to bring as little as possible. That way it's easier for me to keep track of. It's just not worth stressing about, but at the same time, I gotta have some gold around the neck. So I wanna take you through how I'm packing it and also when I get there, tips and tricks to kinda keep it safe, kinda keep track of your jewelry so it's not lost. And you might say, Brain, who would lose? I have had a lot of clients lose their pieces in hotels. My dad actually, he left his, I forgot what watch it was, like a $6,000 watch. He came back an hour later. I think room service came up and it was gone. The hotel was like nothing we could do about it. So it happens. You gotta manage your jewelry even on the road and you wanna wear your jewelry. So I'm gonna talk about that. Anyone in San Francisco Bay Area, I might do a meetup, maybe bring some chains, some pieces. In the first week of December, let me know down below if you're down, because I need another excuse to go back to San Francisco in the Christmas time. So let's pack some of that jewelry, talk about what I'm gonna bring, and kind of my, um, my tips on packing your jewelry. All right guys, here's my everyday pieces. I just pulled them out real quick, kind of sloppy, but I'm in a rush to pack, honestly, and I've been working all day, I'm tired. When packing for jewelry, you gotta do just like your outfits, plan it out. Saturday night, I have a really nice dinner I'm going to, so I want definitely a nice bracelet. The hands, the wrists are on the table and you're talking, so you need something I love. The 10 millimeter Miami is my go-to, so I'm gonna wear that uh, just for the dinner, and then every day I'm gonna wear my five and a half flat curve bracelet. This is just subtle, it's nothing really, but I like the gold around the wrist. I'm gonna leave the diamond bracelet at home and the Franco bracelet at home. I don't wanna worry about them. I just want to enjoy, and then I have, I'm most likely going to take the diamond flat ring uh, on the border and then leave the flooded one right here home. I have a platinum pamp, really cool. I might wear this actually to dinner, something subtle that I don't really have to worry about too much. I'm probably going to leave my diamond cross home. I don't want to worry about that. And then for pendant, I think I'm just going to go with my OG. This is the first pendant I ever got. I'm going to wear it, Black Diamond Eyes, the alien pendant on the Franco that's on the Jesus piece right now. I was gonna originally take the Jesus piece, then I saw the alien, I'm like, you know what? The alien's gotta get some of that beautiful San Francisco breeze or whatever is there, the fog that rolls in. So the alien's going, and then that's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep it simple, I'm planning. So the big deal I have is that dinner Saturday night, the rest is going, doing whatever in San Francisco I get into, shopping, Golden Gate Bridge, um, I don't know, there's just always a bunch of fun stuff to do. So this is pretty much the setup. I'm gonna pack it and show you. And then I buy these wholesale, but you can probably get them on Amazon, just clear little baggies. You take Ziploc sandwich bags, it doesn't matter. I, pa I pack all the pieces separately and I'll put them in the pouch and show you guys what it's looking like. All right, got the pieces bagged up, got the platinum pamp, I'm gonna wear to dinner, got the um, diamond border flat ring and then the 10 millimeter Miami Cuban link. These I'm gonna drive up there with, I'm driving. And I like to keep a designated bag like you guys see here. That way I'll put it in my suitcase. When the bellman comes, I'll just pull this out, take it with me to check in and just never leave it. I don't like leaving my jewelry where I'm not. So that's pretty much getting there. When I get there, I will see you guys in the hotel room. I'll talk about that. But key strategy, uh, me, I'm, I'm driving, which is a little easier when you're flying. You gotta take your pieces off and everything. And then um, it, it's a little more complicated, but I'm driving so keeping my pieces in here when the belt man gets my bag i'll open it grab it and then that way i always have my jewelry this will be on me obviously so i'll see you guys in san francisco all right guys after a long day of driving finally here in san francisco a little tour we got the bathroom there um i'll take you guys around i'm in the four seasons favorite hotel in the world and got a beautiful view out here i don't know what street this is but it's that downtown life and over here we have more big buildings, and over there is the AT&T Park. We're gonna go see the Giants on Sunday play, so it's just right there. You can see the oceans and boats in the background. Just really cool. San Francisco vibe is the best. On the way out there, if I could zoom in, there's like the, the houses on the hills, what San Francisco's notorious for. Enough about that, I got all my stuff settled in right here. Um, 
I got my jewelry out because I'm going to put it. This hotel has a safe. So I, I was all in the pouch. I had it with me the whole time. I'm going to put this in the safe. I'm only wearing these pieces like we talked about before. The pant, the ring, and the bracelet out tomorrow night. So I'm just going to lock these up and be safe. I'll put something like a shirt or something right here so I don't forget it when I check out. But other than that... I'll just keep it there and it'll be safe. Obviously, it's locked up. If you don't have a safe, I recommend still using an organized system, keeping everything together and just like stuff it in the bottom of your bag or something. And that way, I've heard from clients like NBA clients that travel a lot, they put their ring by their toothbrush and their bracelet by their nightstand. And so it all kind of gets dispersed everywhere. And then that's how you forget anything in general if you think about it. So keep it together, keep it organized, and just always remember to. You know, never be um, like to leave it out anytime because if there's a chance for someone to take it, they might take it and that'll be a bad day. It's happened before. Had my dad, same situation. He left his watch out, went out for an hour. I think they did like a turndown service, came back, the watch was gone. The management said there's nothing they could do with it. You can't prove it. So it kind of sucks. Keep it organized, keep it together. I'm going to enjoy San Francisco. That's it for today's video, and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.